what is up everyone welcome back once again so it ended up being so cold and so rainy it is such a raw day outside uh, was planning on going right back scrapping today tons of stuff to get it just it's really really miserable outside and we may end up doing that but I got something really interesting uh, that I've kind of happened upon so at our church they are getting a bunch of trees down out of uh, in front of a rental house that we have and they were on their last two trees yesterday and uh, they had the crane extended about as high as it could go to really tall pine trees and I think they got a little overzealous with trying to get that tree to swing a certain way and the crane folded in half uh, the crane piece the crane was holding the top piece of the tree as the guy cut it and the crane arm folded in half it was insane I was watching it before church yesterday and uh, it was I could not believe that that just happened so they've been trying all morning this morning to get the crane positioned and try to get it away from those trees and it's just in a tight spot and so I told them I was like you know I've got a you know, you all saw my little grinder in the last video cutting those bleachers up. Well, I have a larger one that I don't normally use, but I do have it. And I told him, I was like, you know, I can't promise anything, but if you want to try to move this crane, you know, I can try to cut a piece of this arm off. So they've asked me to cut a piece of the arm off. So long intro here, but that's where we're headed right now. Ran home to get it. Uh, it's really cold and rainy. Put my jacket on. We're gonna see what happens. This is the time that I wish I had a GoPro. I don't. Um, I don't really know if they want me filming this, so I may not, but I'll try to see if I can get maybe a couple of snippets um, of the crane as it sits now. And then maybe once I've cut it, you know, uh, and maybe just show you a little bit of that. But that's what we're gonna try to do. So this might be a long standby, but standby. Yeah, it did get it did get bent again, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It sure did. Well, it, it was actually on the back side of this tree, wasn't it? And then they got it. Around they got it around. Somehow. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think what the problem is is that first section right there. There's upward pressure on it, mm -hmm. and so when they're trying to push from back here, mm -hmm. that upward pressure is, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. is keeping it from sliding back up in there. Exactly. But that pins out. I just don't want it to that next section to slide out on me once I cut it. alright y'all well we got that crane cut up um, one of the guys out there helped me do a little bit of it holding that bigger grinder up above your head um, was kind of tough but I think we got we took a pretty good chunk out of it we took all but one section down it was that crane was a mess an absolute mess but it's still it's still cold and rainy and I'm father of the year here with no hood on my son but he said he wanted to check out the hay baler back there. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, we got all these to get a ton of scrap. We're at the tractor place that we normally get. And instead of them putting them inside the lock gate, they've been sitting them out here. And there's a lot. We're not going to be able to get them all today, but we're going to get as much as we can. Go ahead and get that loaded up. And um, hopefully tomorrow we'll make a scrap run. And I'm going to, I'm planning on taking my big bucket full of aluminum and uh, my copper and stuff. So tomorrow should be a good day, but we're gonna try to get this loaded up. Let's see how many we can get.
so we lucked out they got here to unload some trash um there's actually some pretty cool shelves right here in this uh in the old scrap pile where we used to come but while he's here and he's got the forklift he's gonna come back around here where my truck is and he's gonna load me up a load me up a row of them i can do it but man it's not the best thing in the world and there's one there's one stack that's really heavy that's got a heavy a heavy piece on top that's different so he's gonna do that one so we looked up good and then we'll come back and we'll get those shelves they're used but i think they might have some life left in them we'll see Tell you what that made life a whole lot easier right there we're kind of kind of yay yay kind of crooked but boy she's squatting on this side everything's on that side but that i got picked up this daggone roll around dishwasher i didn't even know there was such thing it's a movable dishwasher no clue but i was smart enough to put it upside down so i could get that motor off but i had no idea who has a portable it's crazy didn't know that was a thing. Anyway, that was kind of in the way of putting them right in the middle. So we're a little crooked. We're leaning a little bit, but hopefully we'll get that all strapped down and we'll be good. All right, we got these little shelves. Uh, Kimball Midwest is what they say. Uh, they have little squares in them like this. Uh, you can see they're not, I don't know, they're maybe what, eight by eight, somewhere in there. But there's three of them, I guess they bolt together. This one's got a little bit of damage on top, but definitely got some resale value. I wish they were, I wish the compartments were bigger. I would definitely keep them. I don't have that much small stuff. So I don't know, we'll see. We got three of those. We're strapped down here. I normally don't put but like one on this, but since these are leaning, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt. Put three on there. Where's that going? Nowhere. What is up y'all? Good morning. We are at it bright and early. Yesterday we had a little sidetrack with the weather and um, getting that crane cut apart. I got as much footage as I could. Uh, like I said, I'm sure they didn't want to be filmed that much um, with all that, but never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be cutting apart a 55 foot crane um, yesterday. So crazy. But we've got our load from the tractor place. We've got some lights right here by the dumpster uh, that we're told to come get. So we're gonna get those on the trailer, cut the wires, get the ballast out, you know the deal. We're started early, we got more to go. Hang with us, let's see what we can get into today. All right, yeah, these are the good ones too. The, the That one might be, I don't know, but those, um, those older ones that have those bigger, older ballasts are the ones to get because you can sell those as sealed units. Um, a lot of the newer ones, they're just, aluminum and there's no copper in them whatsoever but they still have the wires and everything so let's get these in the truck all right y'all we got our ballast in the truck well i say ballast it's actually lights but we're gonna have to get all these get all these wires get these ballasts out we can sell those i'm not really sure where you're supposed to look i think it's something with the class maybe um but you can I think you can pretty much look at them and tell the date on them that you know that they've got some age on them um these are the ones now that are a little bit different this one may still be okay but the ones now are like all they're just all aluminum and electric parts and stuff there's no copper in them these still have the copper so a little bit of scrap metal a little bit of wire a little bit of ballast uh, i think i showed you all these um compartments last video they're pretty sweet this is the i hate it this one right here is beat up a little bit um, but I still think they would bolt together okay at the top. Like you can see right there, you know, where they bolt together. Uh, I tried to look up some prices to see what they, uh, see what they were going for. I don't think they're real cheap, but, um, anyway, we got all this yesterday. You all saw that. And, um, I've got my copper buckets with me this morning. Copper one, copper number two. And uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't ever really have too much copper. It just depends on how many air conditioner units and stuff I get. I'm not rolling around with copper pipe, so you know how that goes. All right, it is freezing out here. They're back working on them trees. 
with no crane because we cut that up yesterday. That ought to be interesting. All right, we hadn't stopped by here in a while. I'm gonna go in here and see what they got to be sure the barrel's full or something. On the way to the scrap yard, figured we'd hit it up. Oh yes, ooh, four jack. Is she heavy? Good Lord, yes. All right, let's go get the hand truck. Lots of goodies in there today. I'll have to get to the bottom. Get to the bottom and see what's down there. Something's heavy. these nuts and bolts. Well, friends, it's the circle of life. The aluminum gutters are not there anymore. I mean gutters, Lord have mercy. The aluminum bleachers are not there anymore. So somebody, somebody got them and used them. So there you go. Also, I was looking to see if those um, pieces of that crane that I cut up yesterday were out here, but I don't see them laying on top or anything. Um, you know, of course I had to ask them if I could get those pieces, but I think they were gonna get them, so. But I don't see them anywhere either. So, let's get unloaded. Mr. Marty's busy, so we'll wait on him for a little bit, but I think we can get some of it out. Need to get our copper out of the way anyway, because we don't want that. We don't want that going to the waste, right? Let's get unloaded. Looking in the pile, and evidently somebody came and dumped out a bunch of air conditioner stuff. Man, there's so much. So much wire, all these motors, motor. There's a motor down here. There's a motor in there. There's a motor in there. I don't know, man. 
I mean, I know everybody can't be taking that stuff apart, but gosh knows, so much wire and motors. It looks like they just got the, looks like they just got the um, copper condensers out of them. I don't see those anywhere, but man, oh man, what a shame. Tell you what, I think I mentioned too, this white goods pile is shrinking. There ain't much left at all. And this is the first time I've ever seen them loading up uh, um, their big pile of steel wheel, uh, aluminum wheels and all the big piles of radiators and motors over there. I mean, these are, uh, this aluminum pile and stainless pile, I mean, it's nothing, absolutely nothing. The only pile that's still got some size to it is the bulky steel over there. I don't know. Look, you know what that is? That is all aluminum. Dumped out in the white goods pile. Oh well. Yield to Jesus. I like that. I don't know where they got that from. But I can dig it. You wanna know what's crazy? What was in this little silver bucket trash can brought me just as much as all that metal that was in that trailer. So, as you saw, the bucket of copper brought me 128. That trailer full of shred steel brought me 138. Now that is crazy. A little bucket of copper number two, 24 bucks. Brass, $10. One car battery for $1.82 for a total of $304. All right, so not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Um, good way to start the weekend. We're gonna be done for today. Gonna to go do a little hunting tonight. Looking forward to that. The weather is cold, um, breeze is just right. And um, the deer were on their feet last night. I had lots of pictures. Uh, had some other pictures sent to me from some neighbors. So deer were on their feet last night. Of course, they won't be tonight, right? You know how that goes. But um, we're gonna go try some hunting tonight. See what happens there. Uh, thanks for following along on these videos. Thanks for watching y'all. Uh, we just passed one thousand subs insane like i started this channel i mean hoping like 50 people would watch this channel and watch these videos crazy absolutely crazy thank y'all for watching thank you for following along i hope you have a great weekend i won't see you till next week um we pretty much cleaned up everything we needed to clean up got everything we needed to do for this week so um we're gonna hold it right there and um hopefully get a lot of hunting done this weekend so Maybe stand by for a hunting video. Hopefully something good will happen. See you.